Hi, everyone. Welcome to this new format of uh, the DPT Talk Hub and Speak Expo sessions. My name is Matra Polishuk. I'm senior BI consultant here at Scalefree. And the topic of this video is how to connect uh, to the DPT semantic layer through Power BI. The topic was inspired by one of our viewers. His question is, I would love to see a presentation or demo on how to connect the DBD semantic layer to the BI tool to expose the metrics defined. Thanks for your question. Before we jump in, my colleague Enan Ribali has a session that walks through how the DBD semantic layer is set up in a DBD cloud project, how dimensions and metrics uh, are configured and how it all fits together. Make sure to check um, this video of Enan before you watch this video. And now uh, let's uh, jump directly to the topic. The project is the same one Anon used in his session. Uh, go to dashboard, we are already on the dashboard, then settings, and here you can see the information about your semantic layer. Then you need to go to edit semantic layer configuration, and here uh, you need to provide uh, or check uh, credentials to access uh, the database. Uh, then you need to uh, set up, or you need to configure the, um, the deployment environment to run your semantic layer against. And then you need to generate and link uh, a service token uh, to your semantic layer. If you don't have enough rights to generate and link uh, a service token to your uh, DBT semantic layer, ask a DBT administrator to do that for you. Once a service token is generated, uh, make sure to store it securely. Uh, you will need it to connect uh, uh, to the semantic layer in the Power BI. In addition to service token, keep your uh, environment ID and host handy. You will need uh, them to connect uh, uh, to the semantic layer in Power BI along with the service token. Next thing you need to do is to install a uh, semantic layer uh, Power BI connector and you can download the MSI installer to do that. Uh, download it, install it and uh, run through the installation process. When you are done with the installation, just go to the uh, DBC data sources and uh, check uh, if uh, the custom connector is present in the list of drivers. As you can see, DPT Labs or DBC driver is present here in this list. And then we can start with connecting uh, to this multiplayer uh, via our die. Now let's open a Power BI desktop and connect to the semantic layer. So open a blank report and then go to get data, more, and here we can start typing dbt. And here you can find DPT Semantic Layer Beta Custom Connector. Now that uh, uh, it's still in the beta version, it means that it's under development and the functionality of it may change in the future. And this is uh, what you get when you try Connect the first time. So it's uh, basically an information for you uh, to understand that uh, it's still under development. Just uh, hit continue. And here you need to provide the host and environment uh, ID. So let's go to our Liberty Cloud, just press the host. And environment ID. And data community mode uh, directory. So import is not supported as of now. And then click OK. And here is a place where you need to provide the service token. I will pass it here and connect. Here you can see uh, Power BI uh, connected to the DBD semantic layer, and you can see that is uh, you can see this matrix all. Just select it and hit load. Now you can see that our matrix, our uh, semantic layer, is available to the right side. And we can uh, start uh, querying it. So let's uh, build a simple dashboard. Let's start with um, adding stack column chart. And then I would like to add year to the X axis. And, and then orders total to the Y axis. 
Now, I would like to enable some labels in here. Data labels. I would also like to add some a uh, couple of couple of slicers, like for example, customer region. That would be the first one. Yeah, and I would make it drop down list. And another slicer would be marketing segment. And just put it here and also let's also make it a drop down list. Now I have also uh, I like to add a card and we can also put some matter gear like uh, all your total as well. And yeah, let's choose some our custom region, for example, Asia. And here we can uh, select furniture, for example. Yeah, so we see that uh, we can uh, basically, uh, uh, so the report is live, the data is updated. It means that the connection works. Uh, so the dashboard works and the values are updated. In the next video, we'll publish this support to Power Base service and cover how to retain uh, the access to the uh, DVD semantic layer from there. If this was helpful, like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date. See you in the next video. To learn more about DBT and how it can be effectively used to create a datable driven data warehouse, check out our ultimate data warehousing training with DBT in Data Vault 2.1. Scan the QR code or just follow the link to get more details about the training.